I have been pretty impressed with Halara recently. I really do like their active wear, but I've been excited about the way that things are moving. For this video, I really had considered getting a bunch of their dresses and kind of seeing how that would go. But if I'm honest, when I looked at the dresses, um, there are some that look like a lot of fun, but they have cutouts in like some really, um, I don't know, some areas that I was not positive about. So I thought I would order one and uh, see how that went. And so far, I think it's going pretty well. The only real negative is that um, I don't have anywhere else to hook my microphone. So <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm just going to show you the little guy that I'm wearing. I think that it's really, really cute. You've seen it over there and you'll see it throughout the rest of the video. It does kind of have some shaping properties, not like super. There's not like a ton of compression. So I still do have some lumps and bumps, but you know what? That's me. I'm okay with it. Girlfriend is a work in progress and that's fine by me. But I do think that this is nice. It is short, but I knew that looking at the model. This is almost like a full, I don't know, like one piece underneath. You can see, if I lift up, you can see how it's a little bit different at the bust than it is below. You can see the little pads, but from here down and all the way up in the back, it is the same material. And then back here, you can see that the shorts can totally come down. And then this covers me up at the top. We've got two great pockets that I could absolutely fit my phone in. I can't say phone size pocket if I'm not going to show you, I guess, but I think this would be great for neighborhood walks when it is scorching outside. I want to be a little bit cute, but also I'm hot, so don't touch me. Since this one came in and I do really like it, I might consider going ahead and ordering more of their dresses to see what they do. I'm going to show you a few on the screen because I don't know. I mean, I, I am curious, but there's also a chance that they would come in and I would not be comfortable enough to show them on video. <laughs> But what if they're awesome? It is always a possibility. I am nothing if not hopeful. My only concern is that some of those interestingly placed cutouts would not be doing me any favors. So my last video, we looked at like some of the unexpected, not so active wearish side of Halara. And I was very, very impressed. These pieces brought me joy, mostly because I was able to have fun with them and they were practical for more aspects than just exercising. And, and the big thing is that like literally every one of those pieces was more fun than just leggings and sports bras. And I know y'all, there's nothing wrong with leggings and sports bras, but there's not a whole lot you can do with them design wise. I mean, there are things clearly that you can do with them design wise, but it's just not as much fun for me to feature. And of those things that we brought in last time, I have worn, I think all of them. So I've worn the pants, the other pants, I've worn the black top and that kind of silvery jumpsuit, worn them all to work. The overalls, like the cute little black overalls, I've worn those out multiple times, super comfortable. And I can't say that about leggings and sports bras. And you know, it's interesting because I have said in the past that I can wear anything to work aside from jeans and I have never tried leggings and sports bras. <laughs> I don't think that would go over well. So what I decided I was gonna do in this one was like check out my second string pants. I got the awesome jumpsuit a size down to see what that one would do. I wanted to see what some of their other jumpsuits would look like on. There were a few more jumpsuits than the ones that I brought in, but they didn't have them in my size because I just love that silvery jumpsuit. It was like surprise and practicality. Had an adorable little baby and y'all, I love me some babies. So yeah, I think that we should jump in and see what we got. All right, so first and foremost, is this piece. I already know that I love it. I'm gonna see what it looks like in a size down. This one is, I believe a 2X. Yeah, I got this one in a 2X. It's 100% polyester. I absolutely love the last one, but there was a lot of extra fabric in the back. And I wanted to see what this would do height wise. It is still very long. Halara does carry regulars, longs and shorts. I really love this one. I thought that it was so elegant on. It feels like active wear in complete disguise. I keep my Peloton up at the office I used to walk every day, but we've started to get too much furniture in there that my walking is not working so much. And outside it is so dang hot that it's just not happening. Typically I wear a long dress to the office. I normally would take that off and put on some shorts and a top, but I like to keep my options open. Sometimes if I'm wearing pants, I just keep it on the way it is. I really do think that this one is going to be nice. It looked great with the belt last time. The belt was kind of out of necessity, but I think that it really dressed it up nicely, but this can totally be work wear. It can totally be active wear. And I love that about it. I like this one even better oh in the right size, I guess. This one's a 2X. Oh. <laughs> Lulu. Lulu is being very needy right now. Are you coming back out? 
All right, I like this one even better in the 2X. It makes a huge difference. I don't have the gaping in the back. I put on this belt. I kind of liked it, even though it doesn't totally blend. Last time I wore it with black, but I do think that it's really pretty with just about anything. I'm gonna take it off and show you what it looks like. So it's just a flat front here, and then the back is this elastic. The, the other one had to where I could fold over. This one's really, really perfect. So the last time I got a couple of requests for specifically this jumpsuit, and the first was if I could do it without shapewear. And here's the thing, like I really always wear shapewear. I wear it to work, but I wear like a lighter compression. I certainly wear it with formals, but, <laughs> I aimed, please. I'm wearing it without shapewear. I don't know if it's a true representation because you normally see me with shapewear, but like I can see some lines here. I don't know. I don't, I don't actually think that it would be bad without it. And it's super, super comfortable. Let me show you some motion. And then my second request was if I could sit down in it and sitting down without shapewear. I don't know, but <laughs> hey, no, 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 I can't. Just because things have a totally different look whenever you're sitting as opposed to standing. And then especially for my friends who are always sitting, I am happy to show you because of where this waistband comes and that it goes out, I don't really feel like it's clinging. I've got like right at my belly button, I've got a roll and it's not, it doesn't feel like it's clinging to that, which I think is pretty nice. Let me show you my front. Yeah, so I feel like I can stay pretty poised sitting in this number. Yeah, what do you think? I know I'm in a totally different place. I've gotten lots of comments like right after work, whenever the sun's coming into that window in my kitchen, I'm trying to do other options. We are currently working on converting our craft room. That's the room that's like right off of the, um, the kitchen. A lot of people would have called it an office. It was actually designed to be like a den, like an informal living room. But my husband, that's where my husband works and I have my computer. It's like, I used to run a bakery from my house. <laughs> craft room just flowed. And so I don't know that it's ever going to be called anything different, but the craft room it is. I have this guy. I kind of struggled with sizing a little bit. I'm between a 2X and a 3X and a lot of the 2Xs were sold out. This one was sold out in 2X and 3X and so I got it in a 1X. I don't know how it's going to go, but I thought that it was a really neat, I don't know, what do you call this? Singlet, uh, that's not right. Like a leotard and I don't know if that's the right word for it, but I think that might be a ballet term. It could be a leotard, I don't know, but it, a bodysuit, bodysuit. It snaps underneath the crotch and then it has long sleeves. This was one of the only tops aside from the black one that I'd gotten before that I thought could possibly work for work. If it doesn't work, I'm totally gonna be pairing it with something from my closet. All right, and then I got these. These are a much more fitted pant. They looked very tight on the model. These are just a gray trouser. The only pockets are in the back. You know, I've noticed that about a lot of dress pants. It's interesting, whenever I was going back into like the corporate workforce, as so many ladies dress pants either had front pockets or back pockets that often didn't have both. And so often those front pockets would be so teeny tiny, you couldn't even fit your phone in it. And I like to have a pocket that is large enough to hold my phone so that I can go to the restroom and not leave it on my desk. That's just the way that I feel. I think that should be a fashion requirement, but no one asked me. So these are kind of a flare at the bottom. The material is very stretchy. You can see it stretching this way. It also is pretty generous this direction. These are just a slip on, though they do look very much like dress pants. I love the deception, Laura. Very good job. <laughs> All right, these are way tight and I would not wear something tucked in with them. I feel like they're just way too revealing. And then this top is too low and it's just a lot, a lot going on. But I do like the way that they fit. If I had a shirt, I'll show you in a minute, I'm gonna put something different on over it because I would not pair these two together. What this honestly reminds me of, and look, they're plenty long. Oh, they're plenty long. Um, I'm trying to, let me show you over here without Lulu. But what these remind me of is Jareth from The Labyrinth. They're like incredibly tight and don't look in this area. Lots of things exposed. So where I don't think that I'd want something tucked in, I think that for my body, they're probably too tight. I'd be too tempted to wear shapewear. I mean, like it does defeat the point to wear shapewear under active wear style clothing. And then, and then this top, like I said, I mean, no matter how much I pull it up, it is really, it's really, really just trying. And I'm trying these new bras. They are so incredibly comfortable, but I wanna wear them for like two weeks before I do a full review. That's totally not on a subject, but 
I'm changing tops. Hold on. This has transformed it to where I really, really like these pants. I'm going to angle you down just a smidge. I got my City Chic Birkenstock style shoes that I'm just kind of pairing with them. I think that these are great. They've got a lot of stretch to them, but they are also very, very tight. Like I was saying up here, you can really see everything. You see like the outlines that I don't necessarily want to see in my inner thigh and my lower belly. I'd be most comfortable having a longer top that covers all of that up. And oftentimes that's how I wear blouses to work. So I think that it's great because they are super comfortable. There is so much stretch. These are long enough. I believe that these also come in short and talls. I've got them in talls. And uh, yeah, we've got the nice big pockets in the back and no pockets on the front, which is okay, I suppose. <laughs> But yeah, I, I like them. I like them in this color. I think that the color is actually what makes everything feel so revealing. If these were in black, you wouldn't see all that business. <laughs> these feel much more like a classic work pant. These are also straight up stretchy waist. I got these in a 2X as well. What do we have pocket wise? Okay, there's no back pockets. Hmm. But side pocket can hold the phone. So I'm looking over that one. These are nice and long. They do kind of have a classic pleat on the front. It's got belt loops so you can totally wear a belt. But I think that these could 100% pass for the office. You could be comfortable all day. Nothing squeezing too much on your waist. No button irritating the heck out of you. And the front's classy enough that you could very easily tuck a blouse into this bag boy. These are the most comfortable dress pants ever. They're they're like absolutely the right size of my waist, but they have a lot of extra give here, which is amazing. There is so much stretch. Pockets are comfortable. Right length, just yes all the way around. And then this top is my FedEx man top. Here, let me show you the waist. Last time I had mentioned the FedEx man story and I had a lot of people say they didn't know it and I answered a few people in the comments, but I just saw this hanging in my closet and I was like, I should tell the FedEx man story. I think I told this story on like my first Bloom Chic just done by me video. What it was was I was wearing this and a lot of the Bloom Chic tops, in fact, a lot of tops have kind of like a little modesty snap. Um, since this, I have always reinforced my snaps, but we had just gotten into our new office and FedEx man had come. He's the same guy that I have had for well over a year since, at least three days a week. And uh, it turned out like one of those snap ends stuck to the other snap end and had decided to just come apart. And so I'm just sitting there and I'm talking to FedEx man. We're just having a great old conversation. He asks if he can use the restroom and I tell him absolutely he may. While he's in there, I feel something a little bit like a little cold breeze. And I look down and like this side is open down to here and this side is open down there. And I've got a whole giant triangle of belly showing and it was not ideal. My heart rate flew like sword. <laughs> and so, um, yeah. I very hurriedly like pulled it up, pulled it together, put a paper clip on, and when FedEx man came out, we both pretended like nothing was amiss, nothing had changed, and it was exactly the way it was. And he's like, I'll see you tomorrow. And I'm like, I will see you tomorrow. But I think about it like basically every time he comes in. <laughs> and I do adore him, he's so sweet. But yeah, so, um, and it's funny because whenever I mentioned it before, I had someone tell me that they used to deliver packages and they've seen all kinds of things. I could only imagine. <laughs> all right, yeah, I, that was not nearly enough review of the pants, but the pants are fantastic, like very awesome work pants. You know, the material, it's interesting because it's almost like halfway between kind of like a suiting and a legging type spandex. There's a lot of stretch to it, but I've got some torrid pants that are very similar in feel. Like, like a stretch suiting is almost what I would call them. Honestly, I'm not exactly sure how this one's going to work, but I did see it on Taryn Denise and I thought that it looked so cute on her. So I thought I needed to get it. She didn't get it in black. She had it in a lighter color, I think, but it's like a harem style jumpsuit. It reminds me very much like the legs kind of remind me of Jasmine <laughs> from Aladdin and Jasmine. And I don't know exactly what this waist is going to do like on me, but I'm so interested and it is strapless. I don't know bra wise either. It's just barely lined a little more in the bust than it is in the stomach. So I'm going to have to wear a bra with this bad boy. Like the harem style pants, it comes down with elastic down here at the ankles and it balloons out at the waist. I just thought that this one looked like so much fun. I needed to see what it was going to do on this body. <laughs> if Halara cares about my hopes and dreams at all, they will make this in a turquoise so that I can be Princess Jasmine. So we're gonna see Halara. Are you in the hopes and dreams business? Hmm, are ya? Yo, for real. I honestly feel like I could totally wear this out. It is so stinking cute. Hang on. I think that this is awesome. Look, 
It's like the harem style pants. So the waist starts a little bit higher here and then goes down on the side. I know that's kind of difficult to see in black, but I really like it. I like the way it feels. I like the motion. Typically, I don't like things that are tied against my ankles, but I'm all about it. Normally, I also don't walk this much, but I'm loving it. <laughs> they kind of also feel like MC Hammer. It's got two very generous pockets and I'm just comfortable. Like, I thought that this was gonna be a little more fussy than it is. It's not. The only fussy thing about it is that I gotta wear a strapless bra. And in the grand scheme of things, I'm okay with that. Look, <laughs> parachute pants. <laughs> I think that this one's fabulous. The, this, so right here, this is just one single piece of material. And then we've got the two right up here at the bust. Where it comes does not actually cover my full bust. In fact, if I pulled it down to where it did, because of my strapless bra, it would be exposed like that. Um, so I just pulling it up to where it feels right to me and not worrying about that seam. <laughs> this one I'm definitely keeping. Though it's not jeans, it's also not made for my office. I think for a day out shopping, how fun is this jumpsuit? All right, last but certainly not least is a short version of the overalls. I almost got this in black because I had the long ones in black, but I thought, you know what, girl, you've got to try a different color. I think that this is so cute. It screams summer. The waffle knit is so lightweight. I wore that black one to my brother-in-law's house. He's got like the most amazing tiki bar you've ever seen in your whole dang life. It was like late June, early July. And I was wearing black, but I was super comfortable. Now he does have some curtains. He's got a lot of ventilation in there, but it was in like the low 90s and I did not feel hot. I didn't feel like I needed to get up and go inside. So the waffle knit is really, really awesome on this guy. Yeah, this is 97% polyester, 3% elastane. I got this one in a 2X as well. I really, really like it. It just has the one little extra pleat in the back that opens up to give a little more freedom toward the bottom. We've got the one pocket back here and then the two really awesome pockets there. And then of course the giant little, I don't know, it's not a kangaroo pouch because it'd be too high for that, right? I don't know what it is, but the pouch is awesome. There was also a short version of the really nice long jumpsuit that's more dressy, but it didn't go into extended sizing. So alas, she did not make it. But yeah, I'm really excited to try this one. This is so cute. I know that it kind of blends right in with my legs and y'all are gonna tell me I need to get a tan. And I do agree. I think that my legs would look better if they were tan, but I don't like the process of tanning, even like sunless tanning. It's just like an upkeep thing. And I feel like it peels off on me in areas that, I don't know, I just, I, I don't need to justify it. I don't like tanning, but I think that the actual overalls are freaking adorable. I don't know that seeing myself in the little viewfinder over there, I don't know what I think about this long sleeve little guy with it, but I'm trying it because I brought it in. Also, this is, I mean, it's like up to here. The, <laughs> like it goes underneath my crotch and it comes way, way high. You would never see it in this, but it makes me very self-conscious, which is not something that I want. I think that this is just perfect. I love these pockets right here. I think that this reminds me totally of a cabbage patch. I loved it in long. I really, really like it in short. I think I prefer the long. And then we've got the one pocket right here in the back and it is Awesome. This is adjustable. We've got the three different buttons. It's a pink waffle knit. It came in several different colors. And uh, yeah, I think I might be getting it in black also. <laughs> I feel like Holara, the unexpected part two was a success and sequels are often dicey. Let's see. So jumpsuit number one was the silver. 100% yes, would buy again, actually did. Five stars, no notes. Then jumpsuit number two, love this guy, makes me happy. The only note is step it up with the color. I need some turquoise in here, <laughs> okay? And then let's see, jumpsuit, I guess overalls. Number three, loved, love, love. So all three of those, absolutely keeping, love them. I'm so happy with them. And then as far as pants go, I loved these black pants. These are gonna be in my office rotation. I wear dresses more than I wear pants, but I love a good pair of office pants. Probably, let's go ahead, look at this black top. Not a whole lot to say, absolutely not. Didn't work for me. Part of that is the sizing. I got that in a 1X. I've been saying for a long time, I'm teetering between a 2X and 3X. I think I've soundly moved into a 2X. Like I am between an 18 and a 20. Whereas before I felt like I was between a 20 and a 22, which is what really put me in those sizes. But like nine times out of 10, I buy a 20, it's going to fit. And three times out of 10, if I buy an 18, it's going to fit. So we're 
hanging out in 2x land. That one's a 1x and that's part of the problem. There might be some other problems, but I've also never comfortably worn a bodysuit. I don't know what it is. There's just something about the restrictive bottom area that bothers me a little bit. Okay, and then I would say that these two are a tie. Not for last place, the black is last place, but these are in my like, I'm real happy category, but. So this one's a little bit short, but I think that it's perfect for what it is. I don't know, I honestly don't know what my notes would be on it because, um, I mean, maybe I'd like it to be just a smidge longer, but for going on a walk, for riding on a bike, it really is pretty perfect. I love that it has the built-ins. That makes me feel like I'm being supported. I'm being held in enough. I didn't put any shapewear on for this whole haul. So if I'm kind of hanging out in places, that's just the reason and, and hey, that's okay. But this one did make me feel like, oh, hey, I've got my shapewear on and I'm feeling comfortable underneath this dress. And I don't think all the Halara dresses do that. This guy's a winner. You, you know what? You're moving up above the gray pants. And I still really, really like the gray pants, but I'm a little bit uncomfortable with my like apron belly just being so dang exposed. When I see them, I just want to sing. Dance magic, dance magic, dance magic, dance magic. Jump magic, jump magic, jump magic, jump magic. <laughs> They're my Jareth pants, but I definitely think that these have a place. I think that if I'd gotten them in black, I wouldn't have the same notes, but I could look at these on the model and tell that they were going to do that. The area that I'm most concerned about is my inner thigh. I'm not super happy with it. And I feel like it was highlighted in there. And because of that, I would never never wear these with something that was tucked in. But you know what? As soon as I put that other top on, it's amazing how like my confidence flipped and I was comfortable. I'm back on camera. I'm not like, <laughs> you know. So yeah, these are nice too. I really would love to know your thoughts. If there's anything else that you're interested in seeing from Halara, uh, I know there are a lot of videos out there on it. If there's something that you've thought, hey, I'd like to know what your take is on it. I'd like to see what it looked like on your body. I'd be happy to bring it on. I really appreciate you taking the time and coming and watching my video. That is 100% the best way for you to help support my channel. And I appreciate the heck out of you for it. Liking, commenting, and subscribing are always amazing. They help my channel grow. They bring me joy. They give you awesome points. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If, you're, if you do those things or have done them in the past, thank you so much. I, it really does mean a lot to me. I hope that your day is as amazing as you are, and I will see you in the next one.